Yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Blanco the Slum, and we got a brand new business in GTA Online. And in today's video, we will be going over if this business is good, how much will it cost, how much can you make, what's the most efficient way to run the business and do the missions and stuff like that. Just all in all, what's going on with the bail enforcement agency office and if it's worth buying and investing your time into right but of course before we get into the video if you are new here welcome if you have been down welcome back of course hit that like and subscribe button if you are interested in consistent gta content and let's get into the video so starting off with how can you purchase this brand new business right this bottom dollar bail you know bail enforcement bounty hunters whatever you want to call it there is four locations in Los Santos and they all will cost you anywhere from 2 million to 2.6 million dollars. Now, of course, the more suitable locations are going to be a bit more expensive. I personally went with the one that did cost 2.6 million dollars. You can also get one all the way up in Blaine County, but I don't really suggest doing that because, you know, it's just really far out the way. Unless you're a Blaine County person, then you know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do, man. But I got the one up here that cost 2.6 mil simply because it's closest to like all my businesses and stuff like that and it just made the most amount of sense for me but of course you get whichever one suits you best whether even if it's the one in blaine county you know do what you want to do man now let's move on to the upgrades of this business you know what what comes with the business when you purchase it of course you can select a style this is simply cosmetic so i don't really suggest buying it unless you're just you know rolling in the dough you got a shit ton of money then go ahead and you can, you can change the style but it's not necessary now you can buy agent one and two and we will get into this a little bit later how the agents one and two you know tie into your business and what exactly they do but both put together they will cost 1.5 mil so it's a pretty heavy the price so we'll see you know if it's worth it later on in the video but i would definitely suggest getting the personal headquarters simply so you can use your bail enforcement office as a spawn location and then of course a gun locker is optional but you should already have one in your other businesses and then you can also get armor plating on the bail enforcement van which i would suggest getting just simply so the npcs can't really you know get to you in the missions they can't really shoot you you're pretty much you know shielded by these armor plates so all in all this will cost $4.7 million. This is the most expensive bail enforcement office with most of the upgrades. So you pretty much can expect to spend anywhere from four to five million dollars if you want this business and you want it, you know, fully upgraded with all the renovations and upgrades and stuff. It will cost you roughly four to five million dollars, depending on the price of the initial, you know, location of your choosing. So let's move forward and how to make money with this business. Now, I did mention you can buy two agents and this is pretty much their function. You can walk up to these two agents and pretty much send them out to go do bail enforcement work for you and they will bring you money back passively. And there is a safe in your office, which I will walk to in just a second. It's pretty annoying that the screen goes black whenever you send out these agents, but it is what it is. The money from these agents, though, to be honest, is not all that great. As you can see in my safe, I have 13 thousand dollars this was from the last set of like you know bail enforcement work that both agents did for me and pretty much the math behind it is each of these agents can earn you anywhere from five to ten thousand dollars and it will take them 48 minutes to come back from the work that you sent them out on so not too good money man to be honest you'll get anywhere from ten to twenty thousand dollars every 48 minutes passively with the safe and i don't really know how i feel about it like i said man the money from it is not too great but let's move forward and you know the main way to make money with this business and of course that is going to be with the bail you know targets the people who are ducking bail the people we have to go get right our bounty so you'll have three like smaller rewards these will be anywhere from like 35 to forty thousand dollars for your cash reward and they will be reset every single hour so three of these you can do every single hour and make you know anywhere from 100 to 120 thousand dollars an hour with this business and then you we will also have a most wanted target which will spawn in once every 24 hours in real life so once a day in in real life and these will be worth like 120 to 130 thousand which is pretty good once a day 
So in terms of how these bounties actually work, so of course, we're going to start off with the most wanted target. I'm sure that's the one you guys want to know most about, being that you make the most amount of money. Now, these missions are very self-explanatory, to be honest, and really fun. Of course, there's new missions, new content is always a good thing in Grand Theft Auto, and I really enjoy these missions. But basically, for the most wanted targets, you got to do like two little side missions slash setup missions or whatever. I had to go to the morgue and take a picture of the body, and then, you know, we come to this like CEO office is here and now we have to you know get the get the bounty and claim the bounty right now you do have three options when claiming these bounties of course uh i mean two options excuse me you can of course kill them or you can you know bring them in alive and make more money now i would suggest always bringing them in alive and i will show that later like the difference in pay between bringing them in alive as a as a live bounty and then bring them bring them in dead as a dead bounty it's a big difference in money and i will go over that in just a bit but you definitely want to try to bring them in alive now the easiest way to do this is with a stun gun of course i didn't have a stun gun in my loadout while i was doing this mission so the only other way to do it without a stun gun and also keeping them alive is you have to kind of shoot the weapon out of their hand or shoot them in the arm until they drop the weapon which can be pretty hard and you got to be very careful because the auto aim or the aim assist in gta will kind of aim you a little bit towards their head and you don't want to hit the you know most value most wanted target with a headshot and then miss out on one hundred and thirty thousand dollars but like i said this will will reset every 24 hours you can you do the most wanted targets and they will be worth anywhere from 120 to 130 thousand so like i said the missions are very self-explanatory you do a little side mission a little setup mission and then you get to the you know most wanted target and now of course we have to disable her and you know bring her into the bounty office so again you want to be very careful as you can see i pulled out a pistol instead of an assault rifle just because it hits a little bit weaker and i aimed right for her shoulder and got her to drop her weapon and now we can bring her in and just a quick tip um you don't need the van with you when you get to these targets you it will just spawn in like you can see here as soon as i you know hit the dialogue to bring her in it will automatically spawn you wherever the van is so you don't actually have to drive the van to the location which is a very very big tip pause but it's a very good tip to know because um you know some of these missions can be very far which you will see in just a bit but that's pretty much it right there for the most wanted targets like i said man very easy money not hard whatsoever just a simple side mission and then straight to the finale it's kind of like a mini heist and the pay isn't too great don't get me wrong but making 130,000 a day off the most wanted targets the mission honestly only takes like five to ten minutes so it's really not a bad way to make you know north of 100k every single 24 hours in five to ten minutes it's pretty it's pretty all right man it's the business isn't a huge money maker but i'll get it all into that you know towards the end of the video i'll give like my final thoughts and stuff like that you know first impressions or whatever anyway let's move into the regular bounties so these are going to be your bounties that you can acquire you know every single hour they will refresh the three bounties and these will be anywhere from you know 35 to forty thousand dollars. so again not too great money but you can make 120k off all three of them every single hour and like i said big tip man you can call in a personal vehicle so as you can see here i gotta go really far out to the mc clubhouse all the way in blaine county so i just called in my oppressor you could do your oppressor your sparrow or you know whatever aircraft you decide but you can use personal vehicles during these bounty missions and again the van will spawn to you once you you know apprehend the target and stuff like that the van will spawn to wherever you are so don't worry about driving the van you know so far out just take a you know aircraft and get over there quick now again very simple we're just you know flying over to the location you know get rid of a couple bad guys claim the bounty but this time we're going to do it a little bit different i did want to show you guys there's like a different animation slash you know different cutscene when you actually kill the target instead of bringing them in alive so on this mission i am going to show you guys what happens when you actually you know kill the target instead of bringing them in alive like i said it does affect your money very negatively and i will tell you now the exact numbers on it if you kill the target instead of bringing them in alive you will only get 25 percent of the payment so one fourth so it's literally 75 percent less money if you bring them in dead so as you can see i do you know fully put them down 
boom, headshot. <laughs> and instead of, you know, 40,000, we get like $9,060, right? So like I said, the animation for this one though is different than bringing them in alive. And personally, I like it better. You gotta like bring them to the morgue instead of bringing them to your bounty office. Cause obviously they're not going to jail, they're going to the cemetery. So really cool cutscene, you know, bringing them to the morgue. Not so cool money, man. Like I said, you lose 75% of whatever the payment is if you do not bring them in alive. So I would highly suggest always bringing them in alive. And of course, the easiest way to do this is going to be with the stun gun. So those are my two biggest tips for this business is have an aircraft to get over to the bounties locations faster since we can use personal vehicles and also have a stun gun. Those are the two biggest tips I would say for these missions for this business. Business. other than that they're very self-explanatory and you really don't need like a too in-depth guy just have a stun gun and have you know a sparrow or a, or a, a, an oppressor mark too now before we wrap up the video we will kind of summarize it right so the business is going to cost you anywhere from four to five million dollars every hour you can do you know the three targets for 120,000. Then once a day you got the you know the 120,000 most valued target which gives you basically the money for all three of the regular ones in one mission so the money isn't all that great though you can make between the safe of course we discussed that with the agents they will get you money passively and i did notice one good thing about that safe is it will actually accumulate the money even if you're not playing so you could send the agents out you know shut the system off come back on in 48 minutes and they will get the money for you but it's only going to be anywhere from 10 to twenty thousand dollars for both agents put together so not really great money there but you know what man at the end of the day we have so many ways of making a crap ton of money in GTA with Keo Perico, with the Drake contract, with the bunker, with Acid Lab, the nightclub. I really don't think we needed another, you know, business that could just make millions and millions of dollars. I think it's okay for them to put things that are just simply fun in the game sometimes. Not everything has to be about money. You know what I'm saying? So although this business doesn't have a lot of good money making potential, the missions are very fun it is you know something new it is an interesting unique type of business and personally i like it man the money isn't that great but you do have a few ways of making money like i said you have the hourly bounties the daily bounties and then we also do have the safe with the agents and stuff like that so overall my take on it is i think the business was a good addition into the game i think it's very fun it's a nice breath of fresh air and who knows maybe we'll see some pay increases or maybe once a month they'll give us a bounty that's worth you know a million dollars or something who knows what they're going to do with this business but i don't really care too much about the money side simply because we have so many other ways of making really good money and sometimes it's just important to have fun man sometimes gaming is about having fun and not grinding and this business definitely leaned more towards the fun right but anyway that pretty much wraps up our video if you made it all the way to the end thank you and of course you know hit that like and subscribe man if you aren't currently subscribed join the slam squad i do make consistent gta content on this channel and you know if that's something you're interested in wanting to hear a new voice get some new content on your feed definitely hit that like and subscribe now if you already are subscribed of course thank you for your support and until the next video peace out boys